generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session in Among Trees. In the previous episode, we built this greenhouse slash garden on the side of our cabin. We found and adopted Murder Tornado here, otherwise known as Monty, and we also got a couple more items in preparation to build a bigger backpack and a different outfit as well. In this episode, we are going to continue on that, but not before we feed Monty there, which is basically you putting down a... Oh yeah, they're very happy with that by the look of it. Yeah, we put down a bit of fish and the om nom nom that and that disappeared very quickly. So hopefully they are quite content and happy. You do have to feed them according to the tutorial there. It did say you have to feed them, I think every three days, but I'll just keep checking and obviously feed them as and when. So we're on the lookout for, like say a couple of things, we're on the lookout for chicory as well as some beeswax. So I'm just going to go across the river here and once again we're going to forge a path in a new direction. This time we're going to go up and around here but I have to be a bit careful because I know that some of, uh, I think one of the bears is roughly in this direction. So I'm having to keep away from those. Once we have our um, once we have, oh did I actually pick up any food? Yes I did. <laughs> yeah, uh, once we have our better suit we should be in a much better situation to explore this area because obviously if there's a bear around then that suit does provide us with some more stealth. So, and I know there's been a couple of people wanting me to intentionally seek out the bear and to to show what it's like and although I would love to do that the bear is somewhat aggressive as I've mentioned before and you basically have two you have two um, goes at it you you can stealth around and creep around and there's some decent items around the bear we come close to this actually I was supposed to go over here and I've gone way off track but it doesn't matter at least we are once again, forging a new path. There's also some of uh, these mulberries. Might as well pick those up. Yeah, uh, once the bear is sort of aggravated, it'll come after you and hit you. That It'll about half your health, I think, and then start bleeding, which is why I always keep this first aid kit to stop the bleeding. And if it hits you again, then it's pretty much game over. Luckily, once it hits you the first time, it sort of doesn't care anymore and just sort of... It doesn't sit. It doesn't wander away. It just loses interest in in you once it's uh, hit you once. So you have enough time to leg it. Um, although I have had a game previous. Where's Monty, by the way? Where, where is Monty's over there? Mo where's Monty? Why is he? <laughs> Did you just not? No, he he, he just he just didn't move. Um. Alright, I'm going to have to go back for Monty then, I guess. Unless they are right next to the cabin. Oh. And, um... Apparently I'm right near where the bear is. Ah, the bear's over there. I can see it. Okay. So, we now know the bear is here. I think Monty is right near the cabin, so quite frankly, he can stay where he is and we'll go back for him later on. I don't see any point in having to in going back just to say follow me when we you know we don't he's just a, he's a traveling companion and all that but we're not using them for great wit and skill or maybe maybe we should and then at least there'll be some wit and skill within the party anyway little run around some more fungi in place, but I'm obviously looking for beehives and chicories. Chicories? Chicory. Chicorizers? Yeah. Sounds about right. It's strange the thing I'm picking up the most is this. <laughs> we could probably fulfill our hunger needs by just pouching all of that. Uh, let's go for some proper cooked food though, because we are starting to lose health. So up against this wall, is this the, I don't know if this is the, yeah it does look like the end wall again. Ah, and I found more, of all things, more 
dog. Burn stems, which I wasn't looking for, but I'll certainly take the opportunity to pick them all up. Uh, inevitably, it'll pick up just enough to get one more than I can reasonably stack, because that seems to be the nature of the beast. Yeah, I've got a, I've got <laughs> eight of them in total, and they go in stacks of seven. Oh well, it might as not. A lot of these things I've picked up, like these mushrooms and such, so they're just like not something I actually need. I'm just picking up because we can. Although obviously we can start we can start cooking with them. Um, now, the things you can cook in the uh, making the greenhouse. Well, obviously, are not uh, the mushrooms. We can't plant them. We can only use packets. That's one of the things I wanted to do sooner rather than later as well, to do some cooking. And I've actually travelled quite a way, haven't I? Um, so, still not found any... any honey or any chicory, but that's the nature of the beast. You end up wandering around looking for the item looking for a particular item, and then never finding that item, but getting lots more of the other stuff. It's starting to rain now. Which uh, shouldn't give us any problems. Some uh, stump moss over there. And, oh! Looks like a another ruined area. Alright, well, lots of debris around here. I will run around like this, but I'm looking for I'm looking for blueprints. Haven't found any blueprints. So instead instead of picking stuff up that I really can't carry, I mean, I've got one more slot available, but I'm saving that for chicory. I'm gonna instead Oh There's a deer. Majestic beast. Can't really get a good look. Sweet. And there it goes. <laughs> nice. Nice to see. A little bit of wildlife in and around the place. Yeah, so we'll we'll head back and Yes, we'll try and find, as I said, some chicory. But it's not looking good. I'd like to at least build one. Oh hang on. Is that one of the stumps with beehives? Oh, there's some chicory. Good. So I need one more chicory, and apparently there's bears. Um, I think the bears are that side. I can hear hives. I see hives. Uh, the problem is that I'm too full of other things. Eat, eat, eat. Right. So that'll stack there. I need to make sure I'm not running towards the bear. There's the honey and there's the beeswax, and we're legging it. Yeah, it's actually the beeswax I'm after, not the, not the honey. And <laughs> it never rains, but it pours. We have another hive here, so I'll do that and just pick that one up and continue running. Once again, looking for chicory, although we are in yeah territory already explored. Okay. Well, it would be a bit silly not to continue on while we have the opportunity. Let's see if we can find the one remaining chicory that we need. Saying we are once again in a bear territory and we need to hide, but it's actually over there, so I'm not that concerned, really. But maybe I should be. <laughs> Get some ominous music change there. Which way did I go before? I went that way. Skirt this way. We'll know if we've caught the attention of the bear, because it has a loud roar, I think. And the fact that something as tall as a house is running at you. At least it does seem to be that, that size. Mm, nothing much around here. Stun sun is still not setting, so we have more than enough time to continue running around. It's good just how far you can go in one sitting. We didn't find chicory here previously, and we've not actually been this way into the big 
glowing forest. But I'll work our way around it, I think. At least we have enough items for our new outfit. Which is the main one. Although, I think, realistically, the bags are probably more important. It's going to see arguably, arguably more important, but I think it's not even an argument. It's just they are more important. You carry more, which means we don't have to constantly... Uh, come back and forward. We can carry more. For purpose, I'm not sure, but it means you can carry more. I'm actually heading over to this location because it is unexplored. And I know that roughly this way we did find some chicory. And that'll be the couple that we need because we already have two. And, ah, huh, there's some Thistle root. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these sticks and pick up this thistle root, which is something that we don't have any of, so I might as well do that. I think you can use that for certain portion brewing. Portions. <laughs> uh, certain things in brewing. I don't know if it's actually called portion or whether it's called just beverages, elixir, whatever. Or if it, even if it has a name, I just don't know. That's full of that mushroom. Just trying to take a survey around to see if I can just spy some chicory in the distance. I'm going to go up to that because that will almost certainly have a hive on it. it does have a hive because I can hear it buzzing. Right, so that, pick that up, and I don't know if I pick the other one up, but I don't really have much choice. I have to keep running because I'm very low on health there. And the sun is starting to set, so it would be a bit risky to not head back at this stage. Did I pick that up? Three and ten. That, actually, I don't know. I think I think I managed to pick it up, but anyway. We will continue on. Picking up, obviously, all of the, I wouldn't call it rarer items, but certainly some of the items that we don't often get. Some of these mushrooms. What was that there? No, that's quite common, that. But sadly, no chicory. Do I want to have a quick look this way? We'll risk it a little bit. We've got a little bit of time, I think, before the sun really sets and it gets too cold to be out. Hmm. It's fairly empty. Oh, is that another? That might be another hive. But I'm actually on the stack limit, so no. Let's let's call that a good job, and not overdo things. I say chicory is the thing I'm really after, but we'll do what we can. And we'll get back. Bears up there, so it'll once again alert us. I wonder if there's any items, any stuff that we haven't uh, haven't yet found. Well, in terms of blueprints, I believe there is, but in terms of like other other things you can pick up, like mushrooms and plants and such, I I don't know. I don't have an exhaustive list. I'm just actually heading back to Monty first, because I don't know exactly where they are. Because it doesn't show up on the map. Mm, no, they don't show up on the map. I think he's just outside. I think, yeah, it's where we fed Monty, basically. Yeah, so I'll just say, follow me. So it looks like once you've once I've fed him, he just sort of sat there. All right. Anyway, we can go inside and obviously save the progress. Oh, that's fine. Currently says we are starving, but we will, I think, put some... Put some mushrooms on. Oh, that's actually cooked as well. You know what? I'll just I'll just get rid of some items first. So I need to get rid of a lot of this. I will pick up the chicory. No, I want to put the chicory there. Put that in there. And 
what else do I need to dump? I'll dump some of that in there, dump some of what I can't actually. I'm going to take to maybe craft some stuff there. That's alright. And dump that. One, two. And then it is all of that, all of that, all of that. Actually, I don't think it's all. Ah, that's it. We can now get our outfit. So let us get this one. And so the item. And there we are. Are we able to swap over? We are able to swap over. So we will wear that one. Increase cold resistance, stamina, speed, and camouflage. And are we a little bit quicker there? I really don't know. But I am going to pick up that food to eat it. Because we are, after all, starving. And we will have probably an early night. Actually, no, we'll do a bit of cooking first. So let's get this cooked food. There we are. And... You can see that one increases temperature if you put those together. Oh, you can actually have that as a bit of a meal, can you? Right, fine. Um, I think that's... A, is that a decent combo? No. That one and that one? No. That one and that one is fine. So it's like a mushroom stew. And at the bottom there, there's another part of the bar. I don't know what that is. Is that camouflage? I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's have a early night. Although it is very dark now. Let's see that one and that one. Cook that up. And we will have an early one. So we're still needing some stuff for the backpack. But I'm very tempted to potentially leave that for now. And we want to start... Or want to try and grow some some items in our greenhouse. So this is going to be a test. I'm going to go for one of those and one of those. I'm not going to put all of the items in at one go because I want to test to see how we go about this because the last time I tried cooking it uh, well, a bit of a not exactly a green thumb put it that way. Uh, yeah it uh it didn't go so well. So we have the ruby beet seeds, which we can press R to plant, and there they go. And when we mouse over them, we can see that they have like a, a time and also a water level. So if I set that to number three, hang on, if we go for that one and set that to number three, we can press three, and yeah, wow, we can actually start to water them. There we go. That's pretty easy to do. Let me just pick up some more of this food. And once again, cook the food. I'm just going to put both in just to get rid of a slot there. And we are finally able to uh, to grow stuff. Good. I wonder how long it takes. I'm guessing a, f a full day. I'm hoping that I don't have to keep on watering it throughout the... I don't, know if, I don't think we have to keep watering it throughout the day. I assume just one water will suffice per day. Because otherwise it would be a really big sort of micromanagement effort. But we're not going to... We're not going to put any more in. Not yet. Not yet. Right, that is all cooked up quite nicely. I'm going to put... Obviously, some of that in there. I'll also probably put away the put away the put that. Actually, no, it scores in this one. Our watering can, and I think after picking up one of those and the chicory, I'm going to head back out to see if I can find some more chicory. So let's go, save it up there, and we will exit, and once again we're going to go, we're actually going to go this direction, because again, this is just a place we haven't actually gone, so I believe that is over here, is that correct? I think it is, but we need to go up and to the right, and oh, here's some more wood, and some dotty mushrooms and stuff like that. So it is chicory that we are looking out for, and you can already tell that this is, we are a lot quicker running here. A lot quicker. 
which is excellent. That's going to... Ah, oh, right. So we have the stamina going up and then them three bars that when you stop, it sort of fills up. So that's like, it's using those up instead of the stamina. And then it goes on to stamina. Uh, I'm just checking to see if Monty... Yeah, Monty's still following us, which is good. Um, and you can see already just how fast you can... We can now cross these... Cross this area. That's excellent. That's a, a really good little... I say a little upgrade. It's a brilliant upgrade. We can travel so much more ground so quickly. That's excellent. So I'm just once again sort of skirting around. Keeping an eye out for little places to potentially go to. And things to pick up. And we can sort of stop there. Have a little look around. By the time we've sort of taken in the sights and looked around, Monty's just caught up. <laughs> and we're um we've got a full a full stamina bar again, so that's really good. So this is going to mean gathering resources. It's going to be a lot easier. And I believe on the right here, we have stumbled across... Yep, another one of these. Well, since my backpack is fairly empty, let's go ahead and grab all of the items that I can. Um, I'm not going to pick up the rope, quite frankly. We've got enough rope, but steel pipes, certainly, uh, we will grab. Bolts and nails, too. I will probably go... Probably go for some cooked food. Uh, that one, perhaps. And I guess Monty, yeah, Monty uh, wants something to eat as well. And that, yep, yeah, om nom nom. And then I will say, follow me, because, yeah, that's what happened last time, I think. So let's continue on. So I'm just looking for, I mean, beet seeds. Yeah, we'll go for that. Go for the steel cable. The ropes, we're not bothering with. Um, there's turnip seeds, which I would like to get. But it's not going to happen. Uh, but the bolts and stuff we can. We've got enough of the other things anyway to... Uh, oh, there's steel wire in there that I forgot. And we've got enough of the other stuff anyway back at the back at the base. At the end of the day, there's no point in overdoing it. Because we, uh, we have enough food to survive for quite a while, I think. Anyway, that's a quick check there. Not being, you know, I'm not exhausting the entire stash, I admit. Uh, but that's fine. So, once again, chicory. So, I'm just following this path around. I'll go into the delves here, where we may not have unlocked the map. One of the big disadvantages of this new... this new item of clothing is that because of the speed at which we're running around at, it's going to be even easier to miss things. Very easily. It's going to be very easy to miss things. Uh, this seems to go up and round, so I'm just going to as a matter of completeness, follow that round. Just so I know that this is the edge of the map. And we don't need to go much further there. Yeah, you see that's all unlocked now on the map, which is good. Quite high up. Quite high up. Let's just see what we've got going on down here. Oh, that's some nice god rays coming through, isn't it? Very nice indeed. And we will eventually be coming up to a part where that's sort of already explored. Can't pick up the mulberries. Yes, yeah, see, I've already explored this bit, but there's a bit over here that I have not. And this is exactly where all of the chicory is located. We have to believe that. <laughs> Obviously, it's not just a... Oh, no. Not just a matter of completeness that I'm doing this. It's because... If the map isn't unlocked, it means I haven't been there, which means there is you know, more chance of finding it. Is that chicory? No, it's a mushroom. Yeah, there's more chance of me finding the items that I'm wanting, which, to be fair, is only one thing at this stage. OK, 
Okay. Still nothing there. This uh, sadly can be one of the side effects. Oh, and there's some thistle root. I'll get rid of the rags then, and I'll pick up that, because... Well, this is only the second or third time I've really found it. So I might as well pick it all up while I can. I think that's about right. And I'm just going to run over to here. Just to finish off that side of the map. Keep an eye out for any white flowers. Denoting chicory. Uh, up here. Past that stump. Sans moss by the look of it. And this is the edge of the map there. Yeah. Lots of butterflies and stuff around here as well. I said that bird's close. <laughs> it it was right there. I thought that's a that's a bird that's really close. It's loud. Turn around and it's literally staring right at me. So we're not found. What we want what we're wanting here. I'm just uncovering a bit more of the map here. Because I don't have a compass. Oh, there's even more of that thistle root. It must just be it must be quite abundant then. I've just never really noticed it nor taken any care. What can I pick that up? It's difficult. There we go. I'm guessing it's quite abundant then, and it's just something I haven't uh, haven't really bothered with because, well, as far as I can tell, there's no items that we have that require it that we can make rather. I'm going to go round to this side then. I vaguely remember some chicory being around here. But I don't know whether we've picked it up and it's not going to grow again. But you can see the landscape is a bit different. It's more open. Some nice rabbits running around. We're just chasing them. Eventually it'll just run through a wall, I'm guessing. And, oh, it sort of seems to go up and round here. Interesting. Seems to be a stump right at the top, but nothing of great interest. But then, we don't know because we might find, like, a cave and such, so... That's why I'm running up and round. And, yeah, it sort of goes quite a way around here, doesn't it? But I'm hoping the sort of further... Nice. The further away we go, the more chances there are of finding... I don't know if rarer is the correct term, but certainly different items. Um, at this stage, though, all I'm really managing to do is chase down an entire warren of rabbits. <laughs> uh, and I'm just seeing... I'm just spying some of the, the usual stuff. So stump moss, them uh, bits there. Then mushrooms. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing really rare, although we don't know until we know. And this does go quite a way back. Oh, finally! Uh, I've actually run out of uh, of stamina there after running all that way. I didn't honestly think that this new piece of clothing. Oh wow, this goes this goes really far back. I honestly didn't think this piece of clothing would allow us this amount of uh, mobility. Right, okay, I'm going to have to stop there because although it continues... Oh, do I just keep going? The sun is starting to set, so I actually have to make a beeline back to base now. Right, I'm glad I spent that 10 seconds or so running to there because otherwise I would go... Yeah, we need to come back here and we come back and I would get to the point where we left off and end up just heading a couple more feet up the slope and find that actually there's nothing of note there. So there you are. Right, so I am going to go back to the cabin. Obviously in a slightly different way simply because we unlock more of the map uh, and it, it's it's this it's this way anyway. You know, we're heading in the direction we need to roughly. 
So, oh, it looks like we a crate over there as well. And we have been rewarded with some chicory. Excellent. It's all paid off nicely. So I'm just following this round into the back. I'm hoping Monty is keeping up with us. Yep, there they are. Because <laughs> they're bright red. It's very easy to spot them, even in the long grass. So, that's alright. Currently starving, but uh, no time to eat. Because, look, look at that huge... There's a huge section there that I haven't explored right in the middle of this. So we we will probably end up coming back to this place. Lovely colours there. Nice woodpecker in the distance. So I'm really just exploring yeah, so I'm just I've just found the edges of the map basically. That's all I've done here. As well as get some resources and some chicory. Which means a bigger backpack. And I'm wondering what our... That's nice. I'm wondering what our... Uh, yeah, I know where I am now. Uh, I'll finish that sentence eventually. Yes, <laughs> for the third time, I'm wondering what our plants are doing. I'm hoping they'll be alright. Let me just eat that. i continue on. In fact, now that I'm running back, I guess it's not a massive necessity to get back immediately because this jacket that we have on is providing us with a lot more protection from the elements. It'll be interesting to see just how far I can swim. Yeah, this is the right way. I don't know how far we can swim. But we shall see. Anyway, we can spy our log cabin from the distance, which is good. We're going to go inside... And first things first, I'm going to see what our plants are like. Well, they are not dead, but they do require watering. So it looks like you need to water them, as I said, about every day. But if I... I don't know if it's an immediate... If that water goes to zero, they just die. And I really don't want to test it. But I probably am going to. So I will put this at slot 3. I'm going to water that back one, both back ones, and the one on the left. So they are over half grown. This one I'm going to leave. So let's um, save the progress and I think we'll leave it there. Next episode I'll check on that Ooh, there's a backpack. Nice. I will check up on that plant. I will craft this backpack and then we'll see what it takes to make the brewing area. But, oh, I mean, is there anything else we really need or want to make? I mean, we can make things like these plants here and a, like a stag sculpture and such. I mean, it's all decoration. That's actually quite nice, that uh, bear and fish sculpture. I might make one of those because it doesn't take much. But we'll uh, we'll have to see how we get on. Just going to put a lot of these items, obviously, in this. Um, dump that there. Keep hold of that watering can. And Monty, follow me. <laughs> For some reason, is over there. <laughs> I'm hoping he's coming back. All right. Yeah, he's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. Very strange. Anyway, that can go there. This can go there. And we've just got a full stack. I think we need... What do we need? We need sewing thread, sticks. Well, I've got some sticks. I can put that in there. Horses who fungus, one, two. And sewing thread, which we need three of. So I have one, two, three. So yeah, it's just collecting the sticks tomorrow. Okay, so we will leave it there, and next episode we shall see what the deal is with that plant, and also if we can get this backpack done, and then we may go for another little explore. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and as always, the series thus far. Comments in the comments, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.